name is Joan and I'm from the library. I'm here to help you learn to communicate with people who are deaf, especially now when we all are wearing masks. It's important to know that when you're communicating in sign language that you use both your hands and your face. Both are important. Hey, let's start out with hello. That's hi or hello to anyone who is deaf. Next, we're gonna go on to the letters of the alphabet. Remember that the person opposite you is the one that you're communicating with. So you always wanna make sure your hand is facing outward, okay? Let's start with A. Now we have B. C, D, E, and notice that I turned my hand. We have F, G, H, I, J, you get to draw in the air. K, now notice this finger is parallel to the ground. K, L, M, N, O, P. If you notice, this finger now is parallel to the ground. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, now it's time to move on to numbers. We're going to count to 10 and then to 20. We have one, two. Now watch very carefully. This is the number three. It's important to include that thumb. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we have 10. It's a fist and I'm just turning my hand a little bit. Then we have 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, and now 16 is a little different. You're going to go 6, 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now it's time for me to show you a few phrases and vocabulary words that will help you as you communicate. Let's start with my name. Okay. You're going to point to yourself, my name, and then you're going to fingerspell your name. That's important that you let the person know what your name is. Okay. If you're not sure about fingerspelling, you can always point to your name tag. The next one, please. Here's thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, let's talk about help. Help is a sign where you put your hand down, fist on top, and you raise it up. If I want to help you, I'm going to push my hand towards you. If I need your help, I'm going to push my hand or pull my hand towards me. So direction makes a difference on how you're communicating. The next one is want. Want. I want something. Now we have need. Now, if I'm having trouble understanding you, I might ask you to write, okay? That's right. And here's a couple that are really important. I don't understand. Now, if you look at my face, I have a quizzical look on my face. That's important for the deaf person to understand you, okay? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know. The next one is mask. That's very important here during this time. Mask, okay, mask. The, the last few are just some fun words you might need to use. Food, drink, and because we're the Pflugerville Public Library, this is the sign for library, and this is the sign for book. 
And if I want to check out more than one book, it's going to be books. Thank you for watching today. I hope this helps you. Now remember, it's important to communicate with everybody, especially those who are deaf. Here are some additional resources you can use to learn more American Sign Language and practice what you've seen today. First, under the What's Hot tab in the library catalog, you can find an American Sign Language book list to see the physical resources available from Pflugerville Library. Included is the video series Signing Time, geared more towards kids, but these are excellent programs and all ages will learn ASL from them. It even has some jaunty tunes to help learn different signs. The library also has the Baby Signing Time video series, which are not included on the book list, as they are geared towards pre-linguistic children, but are also great. You may be familiar with Hoopla Digital for eBooks and movies. This resource has several sign language eBooks and diverse video resources available for immediate checkout. Sports fans will find a series that teaches the signs about a wide range of different sports, even the Olympics, as well as some on more general topics. If you would like to learn more about deaf culture, we recommend looking at the National Association for the Deaf website for information on a wide range of topics, resource lists, and FAQs. Joan recommended the website SigningSavvy.com, which allows for visitor or registered guest access. There is a sign of the day, articles, and other content. The site has a searchable dictionary, but requires a paid membership to view some answers. She also recommends Lingvano.com. Similar to other language apps, this has a video lesson and quiz set up. The first lessons are free, but additional content, such as the dictionary, does require a paid subscription. The SignLanguageForum.com website has a fun fingerspelling practice quiz that you can use to test your knowledge. A fingerspelling word printer that can show you how your name is spelled. There are video chat rooms for the purpose of practicing and chatting using sign language. And the website also offers a fingerspelling word search creator that was used to make the word search you received with this workshop. If you are looking for how to sign a specific word, try handspeak.com, which has free access to their dictionary and also offers cultural resources such as videos of poetry being performed and articles on important moments in the history of ASL use. The last resource listed turns out to be fairly close to Pflugerville. Located in Austin, SignLanguage101.com has about 10 additional video lessons available for free. Thank you for joining our virtual American Sign Language workshop. We hope you find the time to watch this video over again, practice with family and friends, and use these extra resources to continue to learn this vibrant language.